This week's top stories include how to protect your IP and design rights in Southeast Asia, six steps to building a relationship with your manufacturer, and a method for fighting the U.S.-China tariff. First up is what you can do to protect your property and design rights in Southeast Asian countries. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development estimates that counterfeit goods account for 2.5% of global trade, which is equivalent to $461 billion. But don't worry, there's a way to keep your product out of these statistics. You'll need what's called an industrial design right. This right protects your design from being produced without your consent, but only applies to the specific country you obtained it in. So, if you plan on doing a business in a few different countries, you'll need a separate design right for each one. Once you have this paper, you'll need to enforce it. If you find a counterfeit in production, you can issue a cease and desist letter, or opt for the more peaceful option of mediation. Figure out which strategy works best for you and stick to it. Second, we have the six steps to help you build a relationship with your manufacturer. Hadari Oshri, CEO of a popular fashion tech company, recommends these strategies from her 15 years in the business. One, proximity networking. Individual manufacturers often frequent the same restaurants, attend the same social events, and stay in the same hotels. Talk to the locals and try and find out where you might be able to bump into them. Two, personal connection. Build a basic personal relationship with your manufacturer. This can be something simple, like sending a text message on a major holiday. Three, watch for competition. Make sure you're not using the same manufacturers as your competitors. Four, play hard to get. Don't take the first offer they give you. Five, make the first order matter. Place the first order quickly. Instant business is always a good relationship starter. And six, visit the factory during your first production run. If you're skeptical about the quality of your product, fly out to the manufacturer to monitor your first order. Follow these steps to find the right manufacturer and maintain a strong relationship. Lastly, a method that might help you avoid the worst of US President Trump's tariffs. Though it may seem like avoiding the tariffs imposed on nearly $50 billion worth of Chinese imports is futile, there is a way around them. What you'll need is called an exclusion request. This request, if granted, removes a specific product from the dreaded tariff list. The U.S. Department of Commerce has actually received nearly 20,000 of them in the past few months alone. Companies need to submit a separate exclusion request for every product they want excluded. Each one must contain things like a description of the product based on physical characteristics, the basis for requesting the exclusion, total U.S. consumption and production of the product, among many more. The process isn't easy, and the immense volume of requests will likely cause time delays. But avoiding 25% tariffs might be worth the hassle. Those are just the top three articles. To read the other two, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and tune in next week on Best in Manufacturing. Thank you.